it's Tuesday the 17th. It's about half four. Um, not long to go to finish up. I was going to vlog today and then I was just a bit out of sorts and it just didn't work out. You have to be in the right frame of mind for vlogging. Anyway, Chap's just been in and I've given him some money for some boxes of stuff. And I thought I would, instead of me showing you each individual, individual? <laughs> individual item, uh, I'd do a little scan over the boxes and you can tell me what you spot that you think caught my eye. There was a sneaky peek. Let me know in the comments below which bits do you think I was most excited about out of these boxes. I haven't even taken anything out yet, so it could all be chipped and, and terrible, <laughs> falling apart and may not be any good. But fingers crossed. Um, it's been a funny old day today. Uh, my husband started uh, clearing out the um, stock room for me which he did a really good job, but it meant that I had to find homes for things that I hadn't planned on finding homes for. Um, it was weirdly quiet, but then busy, then quiet again. I sold a little bit of furniture, which was a table that was just there, which meant I had to rearrange everything to make a new display there. Oh, and I also, hang on, let me stop this for a second. I did a little display over here of sort of a Christmassy sort of a display. I guess I'll carry on the vlog tomorrow. I'll see you then. <laughs> You've not been very well, Jenny. You've not been feeling right. Oh, You're way too close, though. I can't video you when you're that close. Oh, oh you're lying down. Yeah, you did Tommy scratching. There you go. Friday the 18th, we're in the park. It's all a bit mushy underfoot, but it's pretty nice. Shh. She said no. <laughs> She's quite stubborn. Um, it's about half eight. Got a few parcels to get ready before I open up the shop. Um, and then I've got this, that stock to sort through. So what did you think of it? Did you see any treasures? And then later I've got to pop in the video that I made the other day for the Saturday sale. See what's on there this week. Well, it's about quarter past ten and I've been in the shop about an hour. Um, I had a couple of sales already, so that's great. Uh, I've got thank yous to say. Let's do some thank yous. I had some orders on my website yesterday, so thank you to everybody that ordered. Um, Lorraine, and Bev and anybody else, thank you. Um, I also want to thank Karen and Dave who ordered via my Avon link. Uh, I really do appreciate that too. Um, if you've been on my website in the last day, you'll have noticed a pop-up come up. 
um, to sign up for, I don't know whether it says newsletter, my son's done it. Basically, I'd like to start doing a newsletter, but I haven't got my head around it. But I said to my son, if you could put the pop-up in, then people can start signing up for the newsletter. And then when I actually eventually get my head around the technology of doing a newsletter, <laughs> then I'll have a list to send it to. So if you've been on my website or you haven't, go over to my website, sign up uh, for the newsletter because at some point, I'm hoping in January, I'll, by then I'll have got my head around it. I'll start doing hopefully, well, I'm not even going to say how often. I'll be doing newsletters and putting offers in there or videos or whatever. I don't know why I'm saying this because I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the plan so that's what that is um what was the other thing i wanted to oh yeah and remember memories christmas memories or just happy memories remember to send me some it'd be lovely to share them in my vlogmas um you can message me um via my facebook or my instagram or use the email address that's all in my description box um your help with christmas content is really needed <laughs> Um, right, what's on? I'm going to get on with this stock that came in yesterday and um, I've got mar orders to mark off on my website, a bit of tidying and dusting to do. I'm in such much better headspace today. Yesterday, everything just felt really overwhelming right from waking up in the morning. I went for a walk in the park and I was talking to somebody on the phone. Was it my mum? I don't know, anyway. And there was this lost dog, but I couldn't catch it. And then, uh, I don't know, everything just seemed really overwhelming, which was ridiculous because nothing was overwhelming, really. Some days my brain doesn't cope with anything. <laughs> but today I feel a bit more with it. So let's crack on. I've just had one of my favourite people in. He's a chap who's lived here a long, long time. And he knows a lot about the history of the town and comings and goings and he's really really interesting but he just told me the story that when he retired from his job at 60 or 65 he was bored so he started doing a bit of driving for people I don't think I'm gonna get through this story because there's a lady outside and she's gonna come in and then she's gonna take ages so I'm quickly gonna try and tell you so he'd done some driving um, for a BBC location manager taking him round to find locations for filming and he was telling me all these stories how he'd met so many famous people, including Pauline Quirk, who he really got on with really well. Um, but Johnny Depp, he also met. Incredible. I'll tell you some more of the stuff he had to say as well later. So he'd originally come in to show me this tiny little token that he'd picked up at, a, at an auction. And it was basically where our chip shop is now used to be a pub called the Red Lion and the um, owners had obviously made these tokens to give to people as change so that then they could use it when they returned. Quite clever really. I should give Kirsten's Curiosities uh, tokens as change instead of cash, shouldn't I? Um, it was tiny, tiny, tiny and it was dated 1666. It's amazing. <laughs> Um, and we got new owners at the chip shop and they'd stripped back like eight layers of gloss or something. And there was a name above the, the top of the window and it said something Warren. And he was like, I can't remember ever being called Warren and that wasn't the name of the people who owned the pub or anything. Anyway, he's managed to work out that it used to be a little shop selling milk and dairy products and stuff before it was a chip shop, after it was a pub. <laughs> With it being Saturday tomorrow, um, the Saturday sale items are going to be put in today's vlog. So I'll put that in now. Hello, it's uh, Wednesday afternoon. Um, it's hideous outside, it's pouring with rain, but I have had some customers today, so all is not terrible. Um, I thought I would film the 10 products for my Saturday sale. Uh, if you haven't seen the Saturday sale before, Basically, I'm going to show you 10 items. They will be half price on my website for one week only from the Saturday that this is published. Um, you go to my website and you'll say a section called this week's sale items, I think I named it, um, and they will be there for one week. And it's whoever gets there first, basically. Um, 
if you've seen these videos before, I hope you're enjoying. I seem to have sold some items, so fingers crossed that you're still enjoying it, even if you're not buying. Okay, so the first item is this gorgeous box. I'm gonna bring it up close. Can you see these gorgeous cherubs? All the way around. Look at that. There's the lid. Now, underneath, um, it's like this. So I'm wondering if it was silver plated originally, um, unless it's very tarnished, but I've given it a rub and it doesn't seem to come off, but you're very welcome to try if it's yours. And then inside is like this. Now I'm presuming it would have been silk lined, like a little jewelry box or something, but that's how it is on the inside. But I mean, how adorable, I mean, I love cherubs and these ornate little feet on the box. That's gorgeous. I've got this listed at 42 pounds at the moment. So that'll be down to 21. That's item number one. Item number two is this, comes in a box. It is a cake knife. So it doesn't look like it's ever been used. You can see how shiny it is. It's got this lovely pearlescent handle and then this detail on the end. Couldn't tell you what that is unless I get a magnifying glass. <laughs> I think it's a stalk. Could be a stalk, as in the bird there, or a heron. Um, this could possibly be silver. It's not marked, but it tarnishes like silver. So maybe silver or silver plate. This is stainless steel. It just says cake knife, Sheffield, England, stainless steel. And it's in its original box. Now I had this priced at 18 pounds. So in the sale, it will be nine. It's as simple as that. And I say it's first come, first serve. So if you want to be first in the next few videos, then remember to press the little ding a lingy bell and you'll get a notification when my videos go up. Right, number three is this gorgeous tin. Oh, I've got it upside down. <laughs> you see the peacock and the lady. What does it say at the corner there? Mixed dainty Dina toffees. Dainty Dina. Is that Dainty Dina? Um, the guarantee of goodness made by Horner. It's got my sticky label on there. Made by Horner. George Horner and Co Limited, and that's fifteen pounds at the moment. So that will be down to seven pounds fifty. Now that is number three. Number four is this. Okay, so this isn't that old. <laughs> it's just a spoon. Now it's slightly ladle shaped. It's got its own little box. There's the maker, David Hilton. You can see it's a bit like a ladle. I'm assuming it's for cream. Um. This is pottery, so, um, yeah, like studio pottery handle. I had a look on his website and he still does make cutlery and basically he'll do all different designs, patterns of uh, pottery and then you choose what you want it going on to. Now I've got this uh, listed at £15, so this one will be £7.50, same as the last one. So that's that one. Then I've got this gorgeous little box. Can you see? It's Christmassy striped side. It's made up of like straw. That's it inside with the red silk kind of lining. Um, that's the back. And that is £12. So that will be down to six. That was number five. Number six is some. Hang on a minute. Oh, I just open up the box. Now, can I show you this without them falling? Let's try it. There we go. Some Masonic medals. So that says Oregon. This one says, I cannot read, does that say something? Yeah, Queensland, so I'm assuming Australia. And then there's also like this brass tablet in there, which says Norman H. Weldon knighted. There you go. So that little case with those two little medals and this brass plaque, they're £30, so they'll be down to 15 What are we on to next? Oh, yeah. These are some stainless steel serviette 
rings. <laughs> Mid-century, can you see the shape? Made in Sweden, so Scandinavian. There's four of them. Uh, they're made by a firm called Gabis. No, I've not heard of them. Stainless steel. Uh, I've got the set of four listed at, can I find them? There we are, 12 pounds. So they'll be down to six. There we go. Next thing. Okay, so this is the most expensive item in this week's sale. Now, hang on one second. Yeah. Oh, there's the front. Inside, in a dust bag. Is this. So it's a wallet, I would call it. It's quite feminine. It's got sort of brass edges there. Can you see? With the Balenciaga or Balenciaga or however you want to pronounce it. Little emblem on. Uh, it's again, it's written here in gold lettering. And then there's this paisley pattern on the inside. You've got slots for credit cards. You've got bit for notes. You've got this bit, which I think you could put your checkbook in, in the olden days. There's no coin purse though. Um, so it's a note, credit card, checkbook, wallet, that kind of thing. Um, in its original little dust bag and then in an original box. I've got this listed at £75, so it will be down to £37.50. Get in there quick. Right, number nine is this. <laughs> okay, so this is £18. I'm just going to move his label so that he doesn't get in interfere with the experience. Can you see? It's a glass um, bottle. It would have had apricot brandy in there, bowls, apricot. Um, they were made in all these different shapes and sizes and people collected them. There is no brandy left in it, it's empty. It does have like residue, so just here feels a bit sticky. Um, you can see where the like cork is in there. You get the idea. And there is, is the box that it comes in. Um, so he is, he or she, I've always assumed it's a he, I don't know why. 18 pounds, so he'll be down to nine. Anybody interested? And finally, I have this Italian glass handkerchief, little pot, bars, whatever you want to call it. It's white on the inside, black on the outside. It's Vanini art glass. Um, I've got it listed at £38 and it's down to £19. So if you look a little bit of art glass, this may be the piece. And that's all 10 items. Hope you see something there you like. Uh, feel free to comment on any of the, of the items. And um, I'll see you soon. Right, it's very early. It's not even midday yet, but I'm going to round up the vlog because it's long enough. It takes too long to upload if they're too long. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Remember, if you go over to my website, even if you're not buying, sign up for the little newsletter because who knows what's going to be in it when they eventually get done. And um, take care, stay safe, have a great weekend.